Give me something I don't really feel But you know that already When I found you on the ground you were darling Now you come into my yard uninvited Come you see me on the edge, I'm a lot If the world was dead Would you find or would you try to get it? Tell me now about what you do with that, yeah Tell me now, I need you to be clear, yeah I will wait for you, for you I will wait for you I will wait for you My God Y'all This camera was stressing me out. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I actually just was talking to y'all. I had a whole conversation, but I accidentally pressed the slow-mo button, which I didn't even know it was a slow-mo button on top of the camera. And hold on. And basically when you press that, it doesn't record audio. So, I've, I've always wondered about it because sometimes I would randomly get slow motion clips, no audio, and be like, what the heck happened? I did not realize that's what that button did. Anyways, all that to say, I figured it out. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. So, happy Sunday. My house is in absolute disarray, y'all. So, spend the day cleaning with me. I had a good weekend, though. Pretty busy. Not busy, but just having a good time. Hung out with the roomies. Uh, we did some grocery shopping. You guys want to see my stocked fridge? I know you guys always roast me. But my <laughs> fridge looking empty but we went grocery shopping as a household together and our fridge is stocked and even the freezer is stocked too and i've been cooking y'all this is some chili that i made which i'm gonna finish for lunch this is a vegetable casserole which i have a video on this is some jerk chicken that i put my whole foot in and some jerk gravy i know you guys have asked me for a video on that but Y'all know it takes me a minute. And this, my friend, is half a turkey, which is defying. Um, my mom has been downsizing, getting rid of stuff, as I mentioned in a previous vlog. One of the things that she got rid of was a deep freezer in her garage. And so we had to empty it out in order to get rid of it. So she had a turkey. I had to chop it in half with axe to get it to fit in the freezer. So. I gave half to half's mom, no pun intended, and I have half in the fridge. So we'll probably have that for dinner. I don't know. I guess how, we'll see how long it takes to thaw and then I can season it up. And then last night I went to a barbecue or a cookout as my Americans call it. Had a great time, came home and me and half continued the party. I went on live. I did Instagram live and YouTube live and I had so much fun. I think I might do it again tonight. And it was such a good conversation. I love the vibe of my smaller knit communities um, sometimes. And it was late night. So a lot of my, you know, closer tonettes are, <laughs> are up late at night. And I just love our late night chats. I think y'all convinced me on that live to start a Patreon for that reason. To sort of weed out the trolls and the hate comments and all that that prevents me from being like 100% open on here. And that way we can have the really tough discourse in a respectful, safe environment of black women. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think that's where I'll put my more risque content, you know, talking about being child free and being single and decentering men and um, adult friendships and relationships and dating and all the juicy goosey stuff let me know what y'all think but anyways all that to say let's clean i started with my couch and um my chairs and stuff i just used some warm soapy water and wiped everything down now i'm gonna do all my surfaces table cabinet fireplace there's a fly in here it's getting on my nerves oh you know what we can do guys before i clean uh, before I clean, let's do a coffee table, coffee table book, coffee book, 
coffee table book haul. This is my collection of coffee table books and I recently got a new one for Father's Day, <laughs> believe it or not. So let me just show you all my coffee table books. So this was my first coffee table book. This is by Jennifer Lord. It is the Natural Hollywood Volume 1 and it's, you know, beautiful hardcover book and it's black owned obviously and mine is signed i got this in 2020 so peak pandemic times this book is filled with the most beautiful imagery of us okay look at my fave my fave warren hill I'm not gonna show you all of the images, of course, because you're just gonna have to go and buy your own. I'll link these all down below, by the way. This is the second coffee table book I got, and this was a gift for Christmas from Half, my housemate, and it's called Homebody by Joanna Gaines. I'm a huge Joanna Gaines fan. I really love the way that she reworks spaces, and of course, I am a fan of interior design and decor. Um, it's also a hardcover. It does have a jacket though, which I'm thinking of taking off. I think without the jacket, it looks a bit more aesthetic, if you will. In this book, she just goes uh, over, you know, how to create spaces, what to consider in different areas of your home in specific rooms. And I love this book. And yes, I have read them. I have read all my books. My third book that I got, I am obsessed with. This was a gift from one of my tonettes. I love you guys so much. You guys are so thoughtful. Um, Bob Marley. I have a deep love for Bob Marley. I've been in love with Bob Marley since I was seven years old. No idea why. I feel spiritually connected to him. And I'm obviously, as you guys know, I named my soul dog after him, Marley Nesta Daly, who passed in January of this year. And so this coffee table book just means so much to me. And it's got beautiful pictures. Like, this was such a gorgeous man. Beautiful pictures of him um, and documenting his life in Jamaica. Look at this. Like, I literally want to take some of these pages out and, and frame it. Um, and it does have color and black and whites. So this was such a pleasure to receive. My most recent coffee table book I got as a gift for Father's Day. <laughs> so Keisha, as you know, recently had a baby this year. So her and her fiance uh, spent Father's Day at the Royal Ontario Museum. They went to see the cause exhibit. They got me a gift and this is, they saw it. They know that I'm very interested in obviously coffee table books, cause and pink. So I'm just unboxing this one with you. For the first time it's brand spanking new. Ready? Ready for it? Hold on. <laughs> trying to do this so you guys can see. Look at that. Is that not cool? And filled, obviously, with beautiful, colorful um, artwork. Oh, this is lovely. This is my first time unboxing it because I really love the um, sculpture. So I think I'm actually going to keep this enclosed in this uh, plastic casing. But yeah, that's my most recent coffee table book. Honorable mention, this is not a coffee table book, but it's a magazine, People Magazine, Beyonce, Renaissance Tour Edition, okay? Um, this was actually another gift from Half. She picked this up for me because she just knows I'm also obsessed with Beyonce. I used to have another Beyonce magazine that my um, piece of shit ex-husband got me and I threw that out, like, ugh, gross. So this is a perfect replacement. And Renaissance was an amazing tour, right? So anyways, you see how y'all distracted me from cleaning? Let me get to this. You know what I was just thinking about? Um, do you guys remember going to like doctor's offices and appointments and thumbing through magazines because doctor's offices had magazines? 
my Beyonce rant, my Beyonce magazine just reminded me of like that feeling of being in a doctor's office. Yeah, as I'm cleaning up my um, my TV stand, I just thought about that feeling of just, you know, waiting and being bored and thumbing through whatever random magazines the doctor's office had. I don't think doctor's offices have magazines anymore. I guess now we've all got magazines in our hands, don't we? You guys like my selenite tower? How lovely is that? Look at it. Look, 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 look. So, I've been influenced, therefore I must pass it along, <laughs> okay, I have no choice. I am on Clean Talk because I really enjoy cleaning videos and on Clean Talk they were raving about this item. So I took my behind on over to Amazon. The Clean Talk girlies were raving about getting a rubber broom. I got it, let's try it and rate it one through 10. Here it is, nothing spectacular, but they was raving about this, um, especially people who have pets. I don't have a pet anymore. I used to have a dog. She wasn't really a shedder though, Marley was hypoallergenic. They were just raving about how much dust, hair, and dirt this rubber broom picks up after vacuuming. So you guys just saw me vacuum. Um, like I said, I don't have a pet anymore, but my house does get dusty and we are a household of three and a half black girls. So we be doing hair a lot. Let's go test it out. I just vacuumed my rug. So let's see if this truly does work. working it's a bit of a workout i do wish that ugh, i'm out of breath girl i do wish that the pole was longer because you kind of have to put your back into it but look at this this is after vacuuming so i would rate this eight out of ten I think that if the stick was longer, I would love it. So yeah, if you're a household of black girls, if you have a shop and you braid hair, if you have pets, or if you have allergies like me, I think this works well at picking up extra dust and hair and, you know, stuff that your vacuum misses. So yeah, I got it from Amazon, I'll link it down below. For me, I have a small home and I only have one rug on this floor have a rug in my bedroom, half has a rug in her bedroom, Keisha has a rug in her bedroom. So we don't have carpet and I just didn't feel like it justified like an upgraded vacuum purchase because vacuums can be really expensive just for three rugs, do you know what I mean? Good alternative, plus like I said, I have a smaller home, not a lot of storage, look at this. Literally like, I could just put this behind the fridge. Well, I have a, a hook that I put my brooms and stuff on, but you know what I mean? You can tuck this away really easily, so. Now on to tackle this mountain of dishes. took a long time I cooked a lot uh, this weekend so had a lot of dishes but they're done my surfaces are white appliances clean floor mopped and now I'm gonna finish my leftover chili for lunch and um, oh, probably cover it since I just cleaned the microwave yeah, I'm gonna finish this leftover chili for lunch and I'll catch up with y'all later.